Hello, today I'm going to be talking to you about, oh, that's the wrong way up. Hello, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence. This first came out in 1913, and I've tried to formulate my thoughts into intelligent uh, bullet points as I usually do when I make notes for videos, and it's just a blur for this one, so we'll see what happens. This book follows a family called the Morells uh, near Nottingham back in the 1910s or 1900s. Um, the patriarch Walter uh, is a miner um, and they, you know, struggle a lot to have enough money to feed themselves and whatnot. Um, and he basically turns into a bit of an ass and starts drinking loads and ends up having this quite fractious relationship with his wife, Mrs. Morell. Um, so the book mainly follows Mrs. Morell after she's had four children and she kind of like uh, focuses all of her love on her children because she's kind of given up um, on her husband and uh, specifically her second son Paul. So and Paul is actually the, the main character here. So Paul is the son and the lovers are um, these two women that Paul has a relationship with and kind of how those things unfold. I didn't like it. I didn't like it and it's not because of my usual old book annoyances about portrayals of gender shit. Um, I, I didn't like it for several reasons. Firstly, because everyone hated each other. I don't know, I don't think this is how people act, but when anyone uh, was like slightly aggravated at anyone else, primarily Paul, let's be honest, but, um, but I found this occurred in every other character as well, is that they were described as like despising someone, like temporarily, and there was just these, these two extremes of emotion, of loving someone or despising them, um, in a way that was almost like childish to me. <laughs> I found that very distracting the whole way through. The main thing I didn't like about it, oh my God, so many things. Um, I didn't hate it, it was definitely well written, but there were things that, I, the more I think about it, the more annoy me. So Paul, our favorite son, um, has a relationship with a girl called Miriam and she is, they, they kind of like meet each other as teenagers um, and just get on very well. And she's very kind of like pious and godly, um, but like is clearly devoted to him. And, uh, and he just like hates himself. Like he wants, he wants to be sad all the time, um, but he puts it on these women. Like he makes it seem as if they're the they're the problem in his relationship with them. He treats Miriam and this other woman, Clara, um, really horribly because he, he's just like such a tease. And then he's like, no, but we're obviously not meant for each other. Like we're not, you're too, whatever you're bringing, you want to own me, you want to own me. And um, when it's clearly just like all his own fucking, ugh. ugh. So we had this book club uh, this is a book club book. This isn't the kind of book I usually pick up. Although I did just like own it. So maybe that's not true. And during this book club, we were talking about how much we all hate Paul. But afterwards, uh, literally just like yesterday, it kind of came to me one of the reasons I really hate Paul. Um, and it is this, uh, this, this tendency to um, like force women away from him, which is really similar to something that happened to me a few years ago. Let's go down this path. Um, I was in a relationship with a man. And, uh, and he basically pushed me away because he was worried that my feelings for him were too strong and that he couldn't, um, you know, he, he, it was, it was just a bit too much for him. And then it transpired, like after this relationship ended, when we were kind of like working through our stuff, um, it kind of hit me that like, that just wasn't true. Like he was always more into me from the very start. And it was a defense mechanism because he couldn't handle his strong feelings that he basically like gaslighted me. It's like a strong word, but you know what I mean? He gaslighted me into, into thinking that it was my issue. And um, <laughs> just cause I've just had this realization, I um, feel like I'm speaking very strongly. Um, and this is also the kind of story that someone that got dumped says when actually like we talked it through and he admitted that he had done this. So. Just saying. Um, but yeah, that's basically what Paul does here. And there's no, never any kind of resolution. He just like absolutely screws over these women and makes it seem as if it's their fault and leaves them with nothing. And he like somehow comes out on top. Horrible man. And also doesn't realize like what he's done. With Miriam, he took her virginity, which was something that really, really mattered to her um, on the basis of like 
they would be like a kind of classic fuckboy thing of like, well, I can't know I love you until I have sex with you. And then she's like, well, I can't have sex with you until I know I, you love me. Um, and then like, she gives in because he's he's pressuring her and then he fucks her over. And it's just like, it's such a fuckboy narrative. Besides just me hating Paul, there's like a whole other element of this that's extremely disturbing and that is incest. Um, it's not explicitly sexual, but there is this very, very intense relationship between Paul and his mother. Um, and it's, yeah, quite disturbing. The way he talks about his mother is like, I will never meet another woman as good as you. Why can't I? Why can't I have a young mother? Um, and their, their relationship is like very, very intense. And I kind of thought it was all coming from Paul's side. Like when we had this book club discussion, I thought, um, actually Mrs. Morell is doing what you're supposed to do as a mother, which is prepare to let your children go and let them go be adults on their own. And then he just like wouldn't let go of her. And then she did, did what is, is natural because she obviously wants to maintain this intense relationship because she doesn't have anyone else. Um, and, and then just didn't let him go. But since Chang had it at, at, at this book club, I realized that actually she's definitely part of the problem. She um, judges these, these women, the, the, his lovers, and won't let, um, won't let her son go. Like no, no one's good enough for him. And it's just all very toxic. And the thing that's most disturbing about all of this is that this is semi-autobiographical. Like D.H. Lawrence saw himself in Paul, which is really disturbing to me because I, um, we talk a lot on this channel about like the uh, authorial intent and how for me personally, that actually really influences uh, my reading of a book and enjoyment of a book. And if D.H. Lawrence is the kind of guy who thinks that Paul is not a complete asinine asshole, um, then I don't think I like D.H. Lawrence very much. That's extremely reductive, but like who would, who would say that they are a character in their book who is like a massive fuckboy and in love with his mother to this degree? Like it's very strange, right? Am I right? Sometimes when I review um, classic books on YouTube, they randomly get picked up and seen by a lot of people and a lot of like scholars and whatever. So I haven't done much academic research into this book and its history at all. There's my disclaimer. These are just some opinions. This is a space for opinions. You can have opinions. I can have opinions. We can both have opinions. Um, but my opinion is this book was awful. And the thing is, I can't give it one star. I gave it two stars because it was like, it made me feel things, I guess, is like a minimum for for a book. It's that, like, it's well written, but it doesn't have much of the things I like in a book and has a hell of a lot of things that I find deeply disturbing. So um, I guess like kudos to H. Lawrence for uh, imagining fuck boys so far in the past, didn't know they were a perennial concept. Um, we're gonna end this video here, <laughs> but um, commiserate with me if you've read this and also found it like, I'm gonna stop using words. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.